This is our second attempt at finding this single track. Um, well, the first time we came here we went wrong. We went where Matthew's going. So we've had another chat with someone who knows the track and it's supposed to be down there. So we'll see. Well, we're having a good look around the field to see if we can see where this single track starts from. Just to make sure before we start heading down the mountain in the wrong way. And uh, it doesn't seem to be, unless this is it, what's this? It doesn't seem to be over here. Well, uh, no bike tracks, so I um, don't think it's down here. Matthew said he saw some on the other side, so we'll try there. Oh well, climb back up. Here's Matthew being a mycologist, eating fresh pash bowls, which he says are taste of what cream? In a sense, I don't know. He survived the last one, so we'll see. Well, after a bit of digging around, we've come across um, this track. It looks as though it's going in the right direction. And we've checked out the other track, and that doesn't look as though it's going anywhere either. So, uh, down the end with a sign, we go. Well, we're now in this murky field, and there's a building in the distance, and we think it's to the left of that building. So, oh, we'll see. Going the trees, uh, nice view of the mountain over there, look, the ridge, just breaking through the cloud. Well, there's a building in the distance, we found it wasn't there. The track actually seems to go through here checking on the map it looks right so we'll probably get lost again down this one today yep round the corner and there we are on it so uh, down we go bit slippery reminds us of Wales what's it like what's it like Quite slippery, isn't it? Wet rocks and roots. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's a pity, it's uh, misty today. Oh, come on! Damn it! Good job! And this is Matthew's approach to the same obstacle. And off we go. And on it goes. Bit of balfour left on a the rock there. Down and down and down. There he is, psyching himself up for the jump. Scoping it out. Working out where he's going to jump from. But it is quite wet and slippery and that's quite a large rock. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> Even catches you out. Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. 
second go. Nicely done. So after the jumps and crashing, well Matthew did anyway, it's sort of smoother track with just little fallen trees to uh, negotiate. So you're going to try and ride under there then? Yep. Here he goes. Nah. <laughs> well under. There we came out onto the fire road and saddles up back to the funicular to wash the bikes and put them away. Boo hoo! Last time on the funicular with the bikes. So they're all covered in crap. And we need an apple. There we are. So this is a crossover point on the funicular. You'll see the other one coming down now. There he goes. Got a nice view in the distance now as we climb up. And there we are, giving them a wash at the end. <laughs> so that's Lee's Ark. Yeah. yeah. We've got about two miles to ride them back home then, haven't we? So we've got to keep them clean. Yeah. There we are. Oh. 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 On the chair, it's the last time. Back. Bike's ready to go. It's a bit um, parky on the chairlift because we're into the clouds. It's bloody freezing again. There you are then. <laughs> Freaky! Quit it! There's a hardy soul on the avalanche sprint course. And here we are approaching the top. And the cloud is slightly clearing, so we might have a nice run back down, but it looks pretty grey and blank. But it's cold. on on the ground floor. So uh, I had quite a pleasant stay there. Separate bedrooms and nice shower and uh, cooking area, seating area and there's the bike in the bike bag. Oh dear. And the view we've got then is um, up onto the mountains. And you can see the chairlift in the morning. Lovely too. <laughs>